Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to invoke a gRPC request from a JMeter and to test a gRPC request of from our JMeter tool. Okay, uh, to first do that we need two things from our to do it uh, to do a uh, gRPC performance testing. So the first thing is the gRPC request plugin should be downloaded in a JMeter and the second is the dot proto file which need to be uh, which need to be copied to your JMeter. Okay, so um, just to download the plugin, uh, you need to have a plugin manager. So I haven't explained how to get a plugin manager jar into your JMeter. Now, once you have a plugin manager, go to the plugin manager. In this plugin manager, uh, you can go here and uh, go to available tab and search for gRPC. Okay. So you will have a gRPC request here, then uh, click apply changes and restart. Okay, once you have installed uh, the plugin and it restarted, then we can uh, start our uh, building our uh, gRPC request invocations. Okay, uh, maybe it will take some while because it has multiple jars to the downloading to the JMeter. And once uh, uh, JMeter is back again, just we can start our uh, uh, request building. So now we have we need to have one more uh, second parameter, which is uh, dot dot proto dot proto file. Okay. Uh, now JMeter is up and running. So go to the thread. Just create a simple thread and go to the samplers. Here you should see gRPC request. Okay. Once you see that, select that. Next. Uh, here I'm giving the uh, IP address of my gRPC server that is localhost which is running in local and the port number is 6565 okay 6565 okay now the uh, the second point what I mentioned earlier the second parameter is uh, is the dot proto file so browse click browse here go to uh, downloads here i have downloaded in my local now select the proto folder where i have copied my dot proto file once you give the root path then click on listing here once you click the listing it will read the list of uh, services available in that proto file and give you a drop down so as of now we have only one just i'm selecting the one here it was selected hello and hello okay now i'm giving a uh, test Test okay. Test and test now. Uh, go to the sampler listener URL C and run it now. So I don't want to save it. It's still running and it's failed. Exit deadline time dot. Now run it again. Now run it again. Not pass. So sometimes uh, just to uh, invocate and initialize the data, it was failed. But again, when again when you rerun it, it 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 uh, returning the data, right? It was returning the service. So this is how we can run it. So the very first time it will show the error. So don't worry about that. Um, and just clear uh, if it's still showing the error, just uh, clear uh, or uh, restart your JMeter again. Just uh, run it freshly. Then it will it will run it. So and the most important note here is uh, if you are using any other extra plugins like Selenium WebDriver or Parallel Request or some other thing, anything, uh, try to. I mean, sometimes gRPC requests won't work. So it will show in the request here, but when you go to View Registry, it will not show up here. Uh, that is because uh, due to uh, due to the conflicts between the jars that was using by gRPC and some other plugins. Okay, so make sure you are not uh, using uh, unnecessary plugins in your JMeter while you are running your uh, gRPC request or any services. If you are using the uh, Kafka plugin, just don't uh, please remove the unnecessary plugins which you don't require it because all the jars which holds in your JMeter requires the heap memory. Okay, thanks for listening, this friends. Uh, uh, Please do subscribe and share this video.